Hi, it is us listening section two questions eleven to twenty. <clears throat> you can find this this ask section on that website examword.com. Um, okay, let's start. Section two. You will hear a local radio broadcast about the Rivendon City Theatre. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 16. Box office, shop, ordinary seats, seats for wheelchair users, lifts, dressing room. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 16. And here on Radio Rivendon, we have Lynn Rawley, the public relations officer of our own Rivendon City Theatre. Hello, Lynn. Hello. Now, the theatre is reopening soon after its three-year redevelopment program, isn't it? That's right. And there are a lot of improvements. The first thing people will see when they go in is that the foyer has been repainted in the original green and gold. Then the box office has been reoriented with its own access from the side of the building instead of through the foyer, which means it can be open longer hours and has more space too. The shop that used to be in the foyer, which sold books and CDs, is the one part of the redevelopment which isn't yet complete. The plan is to find new premises for it near the theatre and we've had difficulty finding somewhere suitable. We hope to reopen the shop in the next few months. Will audiences find any difference in the auditorium? Yes. We've increased the legroom between the rows. Mm. This means that there are now fewer seats, but we're sure audiences will be much happier. And we've installed air conditioning, so it won't get so hot and stuffy. We already had a few seats which were suitable for wheelchair users, and now there are twice as many, which we hope will meet demand. Something else that will benefit audiences is the new lifts. The two we used to have were very small and slow. They've now gone, and we've got much more efficient ones. Anything for the performers? Yes, we've made a number of improvements backstage. The small, dark dressing rooms we used to have have been converted into two large, airy rooms, so they're much more comfortable now. And the state-of-the-art electronic sound and lighting systems have been installed. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 17 to 20. Okay, some answers are true, so let's delete them. Now listen and answer questions 17 to 20. Okay. So, what's the first play that audiences can see when the theatre reopens? We've got a very exciting production of Peter Schaffer's Royal Hunt of the Sun, which is currently touring the country. That starts on October the 13th and runs till the 19th. We're experimenting a bit with the time the curtain goes up. We used to start all our performances at 7.30, but that made it difficult for people to go home by public transport. So instead, we're beginning at 7, because at 9.45, when it finishes, there are still buses running. Mm -hmm. Tickets are already selling fast. The Friday and Saturday performances sold out almost immediately. And in fact, now there are only tickets for Monday and Thursday. How much are they? We've introduced a simpler price structure. Ticket prices used to range from £6 to £30, but now they're all £18. They're available from the box office, in person, by phone, fax or post, or online. Okay, Lynn. Now, if you'd like to give the contact details for the theatres. Okay, let's check our answers. That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Seven, Monday, Thursday, and eighteen. Okay. Thanks for watching this video, and there are more listening videos if you. If you want to join, have a beautiful day, bye.